Hey everybody. One of the questions I kept getting asked over and over and over when I first um, made the first Dutch bucket videos and showing people how this worked was where do you get those square buckets from? And I kept trying to tell people don't worry about the square bucket. Use a round one. Use a rectangle one. Whatever kind of container you want to. Focus on how the system works. Get a good understanding of that and then you mix and match, interchange the components as you so desire. You can use a different size uh, drip line, uh, different size return, different size reservoir, uh, different size containers right here, uh, different media. You can use hydroton, gravel, perlite, um, probably beet sand as somebody asked me about recently as long as you tried to wash as much salt out of it as you could. Uh, a lot of things that you can do. This particular situation right here is a five and a half gallon trash can, the little waste basket that you can get from Walmart. And I did this just to prove the point that it's going to, it doesn't matter what container you put it in. As long as you got the water and fertilizer right, that plant has no idea what the shape of the uh, container is. And it don't care. This is a variety that I haven't grown before. Uh, it's called First Lady. There's actually two plants in there and not being familiar with it. Uh, you see there's no single stem right there because I wasn't sure exactly where it was going to set fruit at and how productive it was going to be. So I kind of kind of let it do its thing. Uh, it's very productive. Nice salad type tomatoes on there. Just showing once again what you can do with Dutch buckets. And I want to add this because I know it's going to come up. A lot of people don't like regular plastic. They want Everything has to be food grade because they are concerned about toxins and stuff like that in there. If you are one of those people, um, that's perfectly fine. What I would do, I just go online, look and type in food grade container or food grade bucket, and you find a container or bucket that suits the plant that you're going to have or the number of plants that you're going to have. You might want to do a bigger tub or something like that. Uh, but the point is, to me personally, I'm not worried about it because I ain't going to come out here with a blowtorch and start melting this thing and trying to, you know, give off any gases and stuff like that. But so uh, you pick the container uh, that you want. Uh, it doesn't have to be a bucket. It can even be a trash can. So hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And Lord willing, we'll see you next time.